Yannick Sinner versus Alexander Zverev. It's the first semi-final for the Men's Cincinnati Open for 2024. And both players have been very impressive to get to this stage. Zverev entered the tournament as the number three seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Hashinov. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, he take on Karina Busta, who had taken out the inform Sebastian Corder in the first round. And after a close second set, Zverev would get through in straights. 7-5, 7-6. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Ben Shelton, the number 12 seed, who had had an impressive run to this stage. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 3 6 7 6 7 5 to advance to the semi finals. Sinner entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Mickelson, and after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6 4 7 5. In the third round, he was supposed to play Jordan Thompson, who had beaten on Bear along the way, but unfortunately, Thompson was injured, handing Sinner the walkover. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would play Rublev, the number six seed, who he'd lost to last week in the same stage in Canada. And after dropping the first set, Sinner would fight back to win 4 6 7 5 6 4, who advanced to the semi finals. These guys have played five times before, with Zverev leading 4 1 in the head to head, including winning their last four matches against each other, but they haven't played it for over a year. And of course, Sinner's gotten so much better in the last 12 months, and since the last time they played at last year's US Open. So it's going to be really tough for Zverev to play this version of Sinner because he's never played him before. Having a look at the shot quality thanks to Tennis Insights, looking at the serve from the tournament average this week, Zverev leading big time against Sinner with an 8.7 compared to Sinner's 7.7. On the returns, they're dead even with a 6.8 for both guys, so they're both hitting the returns at the same quality this week. Sinner leads slightly on the forehand side with a 7.8 compared to a 7.7 to Zverev. And on the backhand side, same thing with Sinner, just leading 7.4 to 7.1. So the serve at Zverev is going to be massive in this one. And it looks like the ground strokes, whoever wins that battle and can get the returns back is going to win the day. And the shot quality is calculated in real time by analyzing each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and the impact it has on the opponent. This is a new way of analyzing matches, brought to you by Tennis Insights. If you want to check out more, you can go check them out on Twitter. Link down in the description. Love this matchup, and I love that we're finally getting this match. It's been like almost going to get this match, but then something happens, somebody loses. But we're finally getting it, but I think Sinner's going to win this one. I think he's going to start turning around this head-to-head, -head, just like he has with guys like Medvedev and even Djokovic in the past. I think he's going to start winning against Berev, and this is where it starts. And he's going to win this one in three sets, make the final, but let me know down in the comments below who is making the final.